Hi, Cancer. It's Elle here to do your March 2018 general reading. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, sorry that I didn't get all of February's uh, readings out, but I'm here for March, okay? Hang on. Okay, Cancer, I'm back. All right. So, let's get started. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera, but we'll give the cards a quick shuffle and then we'll get started. Thank you for the messages for cancer and love. True, accurate messages for cancer and love. What are the messages for cancer and love? True, accurate messages for cancer and love. Messages to govern and guide their lives, ultimately bringing them back to our creator in prayer and in supplication. Okay. Get one more down here. All right. All right. At the bottom of the deck, the high priestess. Okay, Cancer. Um, this is definitely going to be particular to a certain you know, a certain uh, group of cancers out there. So we got the four of wands, three of wands, knight of wands, the lovers, the ten of swords, and then the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Okay, right off bat, um, we've got a relationship here. We've got something built up, but then it reduces. It reduces to the three of wands. Someone wanting to leave partnership behind someone awaiting what is to come for their future someone leaving partnership behind really quickly with the knight of wands here you could be dealing with a gemini or it just could have been a situation where there was a third party or parties involved to the point where someone it could be you cancer or your partner felt betrayed backstabbed back into a corner disappointed greatly uh Someone, it could be this Gemini or whomever you're dealing with, is keeping secrets about the master plan that is leaving you. There's, you could be dealing with a fire sign too. There's nothing about fire on the board. And then we have the major arcana, the lovers, and then the ten of swords which is air sign energy and this is Gemini yeah this is definitely relative to um, a cancer or my cancers out there that may be dealing with Gemini they something happened to the point where they feel completely betrayed they felt the disconnect for for a very long time and now they're actually making plans to walk away from partnership. Okay, so let's do another spread for, hopefully we'll pick up different energy for cancers. Thank you for the love messages for cancer. True, accurate messages for cancer. Messages of love for cancer. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for cancer. Love messages for cancer. What's going on for cancer in March? The Nine of Pentacles. What's going on for cancer? Queen of Swords, Queen of Cancer, March, Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands, oh wow, Page of Swords, bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups, okay, um, wow, it's almost the same message.
Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Queen of Swords here, male or female. Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This is particularly Gemini. This is uh this is Leo most times. Sometimes sad. <clears throat> Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords. Someone's been through a lot. They're contemplating. They're also spying and gathering information about. See, you're not coming up on the board, Cancer. I really feel like this is in reference to to you, Cancer, to those Cancers out there who are engaged with these energies. If not the Sun sign, they could be be taking on the personality of the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Wands. Whomever you're dealing with, or this could be you, Cancer, you could really be thinking about becoming single, cutting something out, being very stern, giving your truth, cutting out what no longer serves you, getting more and finding more confidence in yourself and what you have to offer because in this situation you've been through a lot. You don't know if you can take anymore. And you've gained information about the drama, the infidelity, the infidelity, the the problems in the relationship. Nine of Cups, you're hoping and wishing, manifesting balance. And that's Sagittarius, what I tell you. And you're hoping for clarity via the universe bringing that to you through balance and spirit i'm going to pull for eight of pentacles the higher and then the high priestess again yeah What I just heard is I feel like someone doesn't want to put in the work anymore in a marriage or traditional relationship, a long-standing relationship due to the secrets involved in the relationship. So, um, once again, someone, either you can't or the other person wants, wants out. All right. Let's do... Career and finance. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for can cancer, for career and finance. Career and finance for cancer. Messages for career and finance for cancer. True, accurate messages for career and finance for cancer. Career and finance for cancer. Career and finance for cancer. Career finance for cancer. Eight of Pentacles. Lots of work being done in your career sector. Okay. Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords. Right. Career and finance. Career and finance. Career and finance. Bottom of the deck, temperance. Lord, cancer, cancer, cancer. This is... Some of you are definitely dealing with a Gemini. Queen of Swords, and then a Lover's card. Three of Swords. There's separation, there's divorce. Some of you are just really trying to stay at work and, and put your your nose and your head and everything into work and stay at home as little as possible because it's unbearable at home. It's out of balance at home with the temperance card. There is no balance. 
There is no peace. Temperance is also about peace. <laughs> and then look what's under temperance. The nine of swords. This person is worried. There's mental anguish. There's hurt. There's pain. Two of swords. They're contemplating whether they should leave. Once again, the moon is here. Things have not been illuminated to them. So they can't be like the fool and start anew. But they aren't taken to any offers with the four of cups. Oh, Lord. This could be you, Cancer, or vice versa. But once again, your energy is not showing up on the board. Oh, this is making my head hurt. It's so... I, and I'm feeling the frustration. It's not even pain or hurt or sadness because you you see we didn't pull the five of the five of cups or the five of pentacles. Just pull mental anguish and three of swords. There's not a lot of of hurt here. It's just more so a frustration because someone is feeling like. They made the wrong decision to either stay or to either go forward. One of you feels like you you made the wrong decision to go forward. The other feels like they made the wrong decision to stay. Excuse me. And it's all falling apart. You didn't even need the tower here because it's just it just wasn't meant to be. It's just. I feel like it was bad from the beginning. There's a third party. There's no balance in the home. Nothing but mental anguish. Nothing but negative thoughts. I'm surprised I didn't see the page of swords. I think they were in the other spread. Someone's contemplating leaving. But at the same time, they feel like, okay, I don't, I don't know everything. So I don't know. But then the fool is here. They want this, but I don't see the actual physical action of leaving. There's no six of swords. There's no eight of cups. It's supposed to be career and finance. The only thing going on in your career of finance cancer, and this is specific to some cancers out there, is the fact that you're staying at work or you're lying about staying at work because you don't want to be at home. Because home, there's no balance, there's no love, there's frustration, there's anguish, there's, it's just, ugh. It's just, it's just bad. So now we're about to do home and family. Home and family for cancer. I have not felt like this for any other sign. This is... I I am not a preachy person. I give the messages of the cards. But I'm going to tell y'all like this. Cancer, y'all got to get it together. And it's more so my cancer men. Um, but, I mean, if you are a cancer woman out there and you, you didn't get it together, get it together. Get it together. This is crazy. Like, either be single... Or uh, or being in a relationship. And being in a relationship is actually being in the relationship. It's not saying I'm in a relationship while still acting single. Just don't be there. But that's the problem with cancer. They always need to be in something. They can't ever let something go. Learn to let it go. Learn to let go. Hold on. I gotta get this book. Cancer, if you are a cancer who's dealing with letting go, the language of letting go, this is a very good devotional. It's a daily devotional. Please read it. It's got the date on it for every date, for every day. Oh, wake up in the morning, have it by your bedside, read about how you can let go for that specific day. Learn to let go. This is just absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> every sign is about... 
you want I mean every reading is about you wanted to leave but you you're not sure if you want to leave you try to make sure that another person wants you before you leave the other person just leave just leave and be free be happy being single is not all that bad you might even find that you might not even be single that long because you took the risk of being single home and family for cancer home and family for cancer all right, I'm going to to go with it. Tower, two of pentacles, two of swords, death card, bottom of the deck, four of wands. All right, same same message. Uh, the tower is here. What's been done in the dark is being revealed. The universe has brought it to light. Now things are breaking down on an already faulty uh, foundation it was never meant to last anyhow maybe due to a love affair that someone is um, engaged in somebody's getting more attention than the other with you know the two of pentacles here one pentacles up in the air the other one is mid-air if someone is trying to divide their attention uh, divide their time divide their money uh, this could be a love affair. It doesn't have to be, but it looks like it with the two of swords here. Also, uh, contemplation about what they should do, knowing that they should make a decision. But once again, feeling like they don't have all the information. It's a head over heart decision. Cancers don't do well with that. To They just rather not make a decision and let it all fall down with the tower as it very well is. And then the death card. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio directly, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have the four of wands. The relationship card might be the ending of a relationship due to the fact that um, the home life is ending. The family life is ending. The family life is ending due to the fact that there is a third party. Their secrets and lies, half truths. Eight of Cups. Somebody's finally getting the, the guts, the nerve to walk away, to check out of a situation that may seem like to the outside person, as it's all together, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who is now putting behind this partnership, if you will, call that, uh, trying to cut the cord of. Um, this toxicity, this codependent relationship with the devil here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. And just really trying to get some fire under there behind with the Page of Wands in regards to maybe a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Not taking to any of their offers. Being very uh, concise about the decision that they've made. Defending the decision. Not taking to a love offer that's extended, maybe from a cancer, from you, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or vice versa. You could be trying to extend this to this is typically Aquarius or Libra. Could be Gemini. You could be trying to extend this to an air sign, but they've got illumination about your infidelity about the deceit, about the lies, there will be separation and divorce. That's the home and family. It's been the same spread for the last three spreads. This is ridiculous. Everybody has something different come out. Except for cancer. Like, this message is really heavy for you. Like, for some of you out there who are dealing with third parties, either you're you don't have the third party, but you know that your partner does leave. Devise a plan to leave. Especially if you're not happy. Especially if when you're not happy, you know, that radiates through the, the entire home life. Especially if you're in a family unit, you have children. If you think you're staying for the children, you're only doing damage. Most times, you know. All right. Well, I forgot where I am. Spirituality and inner growth. Spirituality and inner growth for cancer. Spirituality. 
inner growth, spirituality, inner growth for cancer, spirituality and inner growth for cancer, spirituality and inner growth. Give us some messages of spirituality and inner growth for cancer. Spirituality and inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. Bottom of the deck, the chariot, your card. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We got the three of cups, six of swords, two of cups, king of pentacles, uh, temperance, the moon. Understand that. <clears throat> Things wait for perfect timing because what's done in the dark will come to light and then it will give you that opportunity to be like the chariot to move forward in victory alone because this is, the chariot carries itself the chariot carries one excuse me it doesn't, it's not a stagecoach. You can't take everybody with you. The chariot carries oneself achieving greatness for self, moving forward, getting in control of the dark and the light. And once you have illumination, um, you really know what's going on with maybe Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus person. Uh, this will give you the opportunity to move forward. Wow, okay, so I'm just hearing some of you want reconciliation. Maybe with the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and you're moving away from drama. Drama, problems, chaos, maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because you feel like there's love with this person that you deem as a the king of pentacles, male or female. They bring balance in your life. They bring spirituality. You're governed by the moon. Listen to the cycles or, or be very aware of the different cycles of the moon. Practice the moon magic. Um, Google Google moon magic and, and what to do under the, the new moon and the full moon. How to manifest because you're here. So that means that this is the right path for you. Wow. And then under that is the Ten of Pentacles. The Lovers. And then the Seven of Swords. Someone is being very sneaky. And it, it could very well be this Gemini that we've seen in the entire spread. They're trying to get away from you. Either have divorce. Divorce from a situation and, and choosing a new path. But at the same time, I really feel like as I felt in the last two spreads, last three spreads, you, you, you kind of didn't care. You care, but you don't care. You're holding on only because of status. If they leave, they leave. There's no love there. There's not reciprocity with the Six of Pentacles. There's Five of Swords. There's arguing, fussing, fighting, problems. Lord, Spirit is saying that by way of reconciliation, Gaining mental clarity 
and getting to a place of of a of calmness and peace you can have that two of cups relationship that does bring reciprocity which possibly very well could be with the capricorn virgo taurus they bring balance Moon magic will bring balance. Some manifestation that you're doing will bring balance. It'll bring you to victory and to a successful home life, business, love life. But you've got to get rid of some sneak, or they're trying to get rid of themselves, kind of. Or you're trying to get rid of, it, vice versa. Maybe a, a Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini in particular has been throughout the entire read the third party you've got to you've you've got to stop that if the third party is who you want go to the third party if you want to stay where you are then stay there and be there I don't think it's happy there I don't think it's love there but hey Okay, let's get some cards of advice for Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you for two cards of advice. Excuse me. Not for Gemini. For Cancer. Gemini has been throughout the entire read. For Cancer. Cards of advice for Cancer. Two cards, two cards of love advice for cancer, two cards of love advice for cancer. All right. Sobriety, wow, forgiveness. This is heavy. Off bat, I'm feeling like some of you are really going to have some sobering thoughts about your love life via spirit bringing those to you via messages from other people via messages of what people have told you friends family members some sobering thoughts which will bring sobriety about your situation forgiveness either you need to ask for forgiveness or you need to grant forgiveness don't carry it I think the both of you, whomever this could be, whoever you're with, you need to forgive each other. You need to give forgive each other for for staying longer than you should have. Mm. The only thing we can't get back is time. Whoever out there has a time machine, please hit me up. I need that. But you can't get back time. Don't waste it. It's precious. Time is wasted when you know, when you know in your heart that what you're in is just not for you. <sighs> Two cards of advice for career and finance. Two cards of advice for career and finance. Two cards of advice for career and finance for cancer. Volunteer. Nice. Somebody else got this. I think Gemini got this. Career and finance. Body changes. Volunteer. <clears throat> what I'm hearing is that in your career sector, you need to volunteer. Some of you are doing very well for yourself financially, and you need to volunteer because um, this is this is going to help you in your taxes. I'm hearing tax breaks. Um, it helps you put together plans. For your future and what you want to do in the long term, in the long set. 
everything is not always about money. Volunteer. Volunteer also because at home it's not good. So to be away from home doing some good resets the karmic scale and also puts you in a higher vibration, in a higher place so that you can hear from spirit. Wow. I don't know. Y'all, when that happens, when I just keep, keep going, like, that's not, that's not me. That's for you. That is wow. That is for whomever. Understand that this is heavy for, for, for some of you. Volunteer. Body changes. Um, it's, it's just exactly what it is. Career and finance body changes. Some of you are living a good life, maybe overindulging in, in the good life. Food, drink, wine. Your body is changing. Please take note of that. Please uh, be weary of that. Uh, wary. Be be cautious. Be be always thinking about that. You know, it's it's great to have have uh, the resources to do as you want to go where you want to eat what you want. To, you know, but at the same time, you know. We're human. All right. Home and family. These just threw out of my hand. We're thrown out. Um, relationship dynamics, courage. Wow. If that doesn't sum up. Relationship dynamics. The dynamics of the relationship have changed because you're more sensitive to what you have put on the back burner, which you have swept under the rug for years, now is coming to light. Now you cannot, you can no longer just tolerate it. Uh, relationship dynamics. Someone else has entered the re the relationship, making you look at things differently. Have the courage to to express that to your partner. Have the courage to devise a plan of action that is um, mutually beneficial to all parties involved to either get out or stay in the relationship but have the courage because the relationship dynamics in the home and family have changed spirituality and inner growth spirituality inner growth spirituality inner growth Two cards of advice for spirituality and inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. Take the next step now. Wow. So in our spirituality spread, it was um it was spirit working with you, trying to help you get to a place of reconciliation with someone that you wanted to reconcile with. It says take the next step now, whatever that may be for you, however that is. Uh, this person brought a lot of balance to you. Um, either they're highly intuitive, heavenly signs, adult children. Um, heavenly signs. Spirit is like, things aren't always just, oh, it just happened. Oh, it's just a coincidence. But sometimes it's just spirit working with you, your your guides, your your ancestors, your angels, giving you signs that this this is the path, not this. We know how you guys love to clamp on and just hold on tight. Let go. Go the other way. I promise you. I promise you. It will be okay. I'll give five dollars to everybody who lets go. Just let go. Okay? All right. This is just it, cancer is getting crazy. I'm tired of reading the same messages for you guys. Let go. Let go. Just let go. It's all right. It will be. Stop thinking about well, I put in all this time or I have nobody. Work on you. Work on self. It's alright to be by yourself sometimes. 
It is okay. Pick up the phone. Talk on the phone. Talk talk to somebody. You don't always have to be in the presence of other. You don't always have to be up under other. That's codependency. Whether you want to face that or not. Anyhow, take the next step now. Heavenly signs. Heaven. Heaven, <clears throat> heaven is tr trying to show you there's a new way. There's a new path. Adult children, some of you have adult children. You need to be concerned with your adult children. Some of you, heaven is trying to tell you about your adult children. Um, some of you, um, you, I'm hearing you need to engage in some parental care. Like, you're the adult now, and of course your parents may be older. You need to, now it's time for you to take on the role as the adult and the responsible person. Because some of your parents may, you know, may not be able to for whatever reason. Oh, I just heard some of you. It's telling you that you are an adult now. Like, yes, you're, yes, you're someone's child, but you're an adult. Grow up for some of you. Mm. Cancer, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Ask me a question or two there. Uh, what else? What else? Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. All information of how to reach me. All information of how to reach me. All, all information of how to reach me is below in the description box. Uh, please email me. Uh, we can set up a personal and private reading. Uh, cancer, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Remember, when in doubt, pray. All right, take care, Cancers, and I'll see you next month.